Hey Meg, how you doing? I don't know if you can hear me or not, but um, I'm obviously super raging, raging partying right now. Um, yeah, uh, nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you as always. Um, I don't know how well you can hear me, but I'm gonna try to talk about X Men and um, and about learning in general and uh, and the downsides to learning. Okay, so X Men. First of all, not as good as I thought it was gonna be. I thought the relationship between uh, Professor X and Magneto was gonna be off the charts amazing. But the problem was is that they did like this this whole like ensemble cast thing, and I don't know, it kind of drew us away from the storyline of that, and it wasn't that great. Oh, God damn it! Hi. Go away. Okay. Um. Another. Uh, well, then again, Matthew Vaughn would be perfect for X Men. Like, come to think of it, because he did uh, Layer Cake and. Go away, go away, leave, leave, leave. Everyone wants to get into this. That's not cool. It's not cool. Anyway, um, so so Matthew Vaughn would be perfect for it because think about it. He did Layer Cake. He did Lock, Stock, Two Smoking Barrels, and he did Snatch. He didn't direct those last two that I mentioned, but he did produce them. So that's that's great. And he did Kick Ass too. Um, yeah. kind of, kind of great, great thing. But yeah, so I, I guess I was expecting more from it. Anyway, that's, that's the boring part. Today, um, today, uh, you know what, I'm gonna get the music back. That was interesting. No, I got it. Oh, whatever. Ugh. Okay, so, um, when watching X-Men, uh, I don't know, I have this, like, new visual effects knowledge in my head. Like, I understand a lot more of how it works, and I was able to see a lot more of, specifically the CGI, how they composited shots and how they, like, made it themselves. Because some of the things they make, I can make too. Which, which on one hand is awesome, but on the other hand, it kind of draws you away from the story itself. You don't focus as much on the story because, because you know how it's made. In one way, this is kind of a bad thing. You know what I mean? Like, you're losing your childhood innocence. But then I was thinking about it, and then I realized that's for everything. As we grow older, we lose our childhood innocence and we start to not enjoy the same things we did as a child because we're more educated. No, one second. <laughs> um, I, I just wanted your thoughts on that. Um, on one hand, it's a bad thing, but on one hand, it's a great thing because then you appreciate even greater beauty. You have a better understanding of how great things actually are. Like when you drink lots of tea, like green tea, you start to get like accustomed to the green tea. But after you get accustomed to green tea, you're able to sense when green tea is really, really great. Um, but normal green tea isn't that great anymore. I don't know. It's interesting. What are your thoughts? Do a dance music video thing. Okay, bye, Meg. Miss you.